Hey there, welcome back. It's Cindy Courtney, your independent Scentsy consultant. And today I'm excited to share with you some Scentsy empty products that I have. I haven't done an empties video in quite a while. Um, so I combined November and December together to share with you all my Scentsy empties. And I need to do this video so I can throw this stuff all out and start another empties bucket. Um, November and December was super busy for me. We were crazy with the holiday season and my Scentsy business and kids events. And so unfortunately my videos got put to the back burner. But I kind of like doing two months together because then it's a bunch all at once. So let me know down below which one you prefer. If you prefer me to do it monthly or every two months. Um, with the new year, I'm going to try and do every month, but if you guys prefer every two months, then we'll do that as well. And there'll be a lot of new and upcoming videos this um, year, 2018, so stay tuned for those. So let's dig into all of these empties that I have. Let's get started with the top so we can get it out of the way. I don't know if you know, but Scentsy has an amazing laundry line. And so I used up a laundry liquid and a tub of washer whiffs in the scent clothes line. Scentsy Clean is my all-time favorite laundry scent, but I thought I'd try something new. So I went with clothes line, which is kind of like Scentsy Clean. It's that clean laundry smell, but it does have different fragrance notes in it and does smell a little bit um, more like clean breeze, I would think. Um, but you can also get clothesline in the Scentsy Bar, so if you love the bar scents, clothesline, then you really need to try the laundry line. And it's available in a bunch of different scents as well, not just this one in Scentsy Clean. So let me know if you want to know what scents those are, or you can check them out on my website. But I love the washer whips. They are amazing. I prefer to get the tub size because I have a large family, and so we go through, we do a, quite a bit of laundry. Um, so you get a tub of washer whips. They look like salt crystals, and it's just extra added fragrance. It doesn't do any clean cleaning, but it makes your clothes smell amazing. This smells amazing right now with nothing in it. I kept the scoop for my next tub that I have right now, so just so I have a backup. But oh, that is amazing. It makes your clothes smell so clean. I especially love to wash my bedding and my towels in it because then it just smells amazing. And then the laundry liquid is 20 fluid ounces. It's a, It looks like a small bottle, but it's super concentrated, so you only need... Um, three to four pumps for a small load, five to seven for a medium, and seven to nine for a large. I might have those numbers a little large. Oh, a medium is four, and no, a large is four, excuse me. I use six pumps because I like a lot of laundry, but I've always used extra detergent, whatever laundry I'm using. But this lasts a long time, and it smells amazing. It works really well. It gets your clothes really clean, and I love it. It comes also in a, a number of different fragrances. I also have the dryer discs too for the clothesline, but I've lost them. They're just like socks. They disappear after a while. So I don't have those to share with you, but they would take the place of the dryer sheets. You just pop them in the dryer and they last 15 loads a disc and you get two discs in a pack. And if you get the laundry love bundle, then you get two packs. So you get four discs. So let's move on to wax. All right, I have a bunch of wax here. And starting off first, I have a brick. Bricks were back during November and December, and so I ordered a bunch of new bricks, and I needed to use up some of the older bricks that I have. So this one is Apple Butter Frosting, and it's an amazing bakery scent. It's In the fall, I like bakery scents. I'm always making excuses for liking the bakery scents, aren't I? I just need to admit I like most of them. It's a cinnamon apple strudel bakery scent. It's amazing. I have a lot of customers who like this scent or wanted to try it out, so I also made some samples from what I had left over. I, of course, I think this took me two years to get through this brick right here. So, used it up to make room for some new bricks that I purchased. And then at the top here, I have Autumn Sunset. I had this bar lying around for a, a long time with just one cube in it, so I needed to use it up. So I warmed it in my girl's room. It is a great fall scent. It's spicy and warm. You can smell cinnamon and other spices. Mm, it's a good, good um, fall scent. So that's Autumn Sunset. And then I have Love and Happiness, which is a new release in the fall and winter catalog. And it is a romantic scent. It's light and powdery and... It was a nice scent. I made samples out of this after I warmed it to try it out to see um, if other customers would like it. 
And then I have My Wish, which was a Bring Back My Bar, I believe, last year. And um, it was my first time trying out My Wish. I had never tried it before. And it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. It, it has. It's supposed to have marshmallow and fig in it. You can definitely smell the marshmallow. And when you warmed it, it was a good smell. Um, not my top ten, but it was a nice smell. I like most smells, honestly. And then next I have Southern Sweet Tea, and I love this scent. This scent I warm in my room. So whenever I do turn the warmer on my room, because I don't turn it on as often, because I'm not in there very often, um, I warm... Southern sweet tea. There I am dropping the clamshell like I do every video. <laughs> um, it's amazing. It's sweet. It's peachy. It's a nice feminine smell. Um, it's not too strong, but it lasts a long time. It's a really nice smell. I need to get another one of that one, actually. And then I have Toasted Coconut Amaretto, which is a new release for the Fall and Winter Catalog. And I love this smell. It's awesome. You can smell the amaretto in it and the coconut... It's got that cherry amaretto smell um, with coconut. It's delightful. It was a good one. I made some samples with that and used most of the bar for myself. And then one that I was surprised that I loved so much is Hug in a Mug. Because you know I'm always walking around saying I don't like the bakery scents. So I didn't think I would like this one. But this one smells like chocolate cake to me. It's described as like a hot chocolate with marshmallows. But it, when I was warming it, everyone thought I was baking a chocolate cake. It came down saying, where's the cake at? And it was this. So I already purchased another one, and it's on its way to me. Um, so this was a nice fall scent. <clears throat> okay, then I have Pretty and Plum. And this is another new release. I tried out a bunch of new releases because I love trying the new scents. And I was hoping it would smell like plum pastry, but it it's, doesn't. Not in a bad way. It's more of a fem feminine plum smell. Like a, you can smell the plum, but it's more like a perfumey plum. So this wasn't my favorite, again. So after I tried it out, then I made samples from the rest. And when I try it out, I probably use four cubes of it because I have three warmers on all the time downstairs. My floor plan is kind of open. So each one, two warmers take one cube, and then another warmer takes two cubes. And so then I make the samples from the rest of it. And then Painted Leaves is an awesome one that I share, that I hoarded for myself. It's a nice fall scent. It was everything I was expecting it to be. It smells like the outdoors during fall time. You can smell the fur and the fur needle and the, it smells kind of like the wet leaves on the ground. So it was a nice scent that I warmed in the fall time and loved and used up. And then I have an Atlantic Air here here that I used up and I didn't think I'd like this one because I like a strong scent that lasts a long time and all of Scentsy scents last a long time but not all of them are as strong as others but this was a nice one to take a break from all the holiday scents when I was cleaning up and putting away the Christmas stuff I warmed this one and it was a nice clean refreshing scent it's got like an aquatic note to it and it, it was nice and I plan on purchasing that one again which was a nice surprise and then I have a sweet plum pastry. I love this one. This one is a discontinued scent, but you know how I love the very fruity scents. So this is a fruity dessert scent. It's, you can smell the plum, and it's just a nice scent that I like all year round, although it's probably a good fall scent for most people. Then I have country plum that I used up. This is one that I've had around for a while and use, needed to use up the rest of it. It was a scent of the month. I think a year ago in August or September, somewhere around there, maybe even July. Um, but it's a nice fruity plum scent. It's different than a uh, sweet plum pastry. It's more just ripe plum. Um, so I, li I liked this one too, it was nice. I have a pumpkin roll here. And I made samples from the rest of what I had of the pumpkin roll because pumpkin is not my favorite. I will warm it every now and then, like at the beginning of the fall, to get in the spirit of it. But then after that, I like more of the fall berry scents. So I, um, someone wanted to try this one out, so I let them try that one out. And then holly berry cinnamon was a del was a delight. This is a new release scent, and I believe I might have gone through two of them. No, I don't have two of them, but I thought I did. Anyways, this one is amazing. You can smell the cinnamon. 
and the berry, and you can smell the holly as well. So it's a fabulous Christmas scent. I love this one and use this one up completely during the holiday months. And I have another pumpkin cinnamon swirl that I um, finished off. It's a nice um, dessert scent with the strong cinnamon scent, which is amazing during the Thanksgiving holiday season. So I warmed this for company when they were over during Thanksgiving time that love pumpkin scents, and they loved it. Then I have a Luna, which is one of my favorite scents. It's a classic scent. Many, many people love this scent. It's available in laundry. It's available in counter clean. It's available in our body line, bath bombs. And it's a fabulous feminine scent. It has jasmine and... All I remember is jasmine. That's in it. Jasmine and some kind of berry. It's just an amazing scent. So I love to have this whenever I don't know what to warm. I always just warm Luna. So I have a lot of bars to choose from since I'm a Sensi consultant, which is amazing. And then I um, warmed Dazzling Pomegranate, which was November's scent of the month. And this is a nice fruity scent that you can smell the bubbles in it. In it. It's like a pomegranate wine, kind of like. Kind of. A lot of customers like this one, and I enjoyed it as well, so we warmed it during the month of November and December. And then the last one that I used up was a very snowy spruce. I love very snowy spruce during the Christmas time. It smells like Christmas trees to me, and the outside, and it's just an amazing, not like pine salt scent, but a, a Christmas tree scent. It's amazing. It smells like Christmas. I swear I had a blue Christmas that I also used up. Let me double check here. No, I have one left. But Blue Christmas is my all-time favorite Christmas scent. I love this one. I have one lonely cube left in it for next year or during summertime when I love that one. But that's the my favorite Christmas scent. So what did you wear warm during the holiday season? What were your favorite scents during the fall and winter? Let me know down below. And um, I plan on seeing you during the... 2018 with some more amazing videos. Uh, so stay tuned for those and until next time have a sensational day. Bye